Hello, 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 my beautiful Tauruses. Happy Sunday, guys. Today is October 18th, and it's a rainy, rainy Sunday here where I am in the States. Guys, I'm here to do your love, lust, or loss reading for the awesome Earth sign of Taurus. Genders um, can be reversed here, interchanged, tarot gender neutral, and these are events that have already happened that are currently taking place or that will unfold for some of your Tauruses here in the near future as time is fluid. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Information is down below if you guys need a personal private reading. Taurus, let's get into your reading. So I'm going to be doing the energy for you here to my right for your person here on my left neutral energies down the middle and then i will be revealing some likely outcome cards for you and the person you are dealing with someone you are dating it could even be for those of you who have love and separation and if you're wondering if this is something worth pursuing any further then it's here for you take a seat get comfortable and enjoy your readings my lovelies spirit can i have a romance angels card for my Tauruses, for Taurus's energy on Taurus side. For your person side, we get reconciliation right away. This is someone that wants to come in. This is someone that wants to mend something that has been broken or has fallen apart. Um, with your person's energy here, Taurus, it reads reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And on your side, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Now in your energy, Taurus, I don't know if this is your feelings towards your person in the past or if this is towards someone coming forward here that you're gonna be meeting, but we will reveal that here in the tarot. Messages from the romance angels for mutual energies. Woo! Chills down my spine, baby, baby, baby. Children. Um. So your side, Taurus, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime and the mutual energy between you and your person as children. So for the, you Tauruses out there who are parents, this is someone that you have children with. And it reads here for the likely outcome very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Right? So let's most definitely get into your reading, my loves. I have the beautiful creatures tarot here for those of you who would like to know beautiful creatures tarot cards for my lovely lovely tauruses my very earthy sign taurus what messages do we have for taurus's person now taurus these energies can be interchangeable so if you need if you resonate more with your person's energy then you know you're welcome to swap it out here however you like so let's get into your reading if you're a cross watcher watching for Taurus, this reading could resonate for you more than for the Taurus that you are watching for. So this is your energy Taurus right here on your person side where it says reconciliation. I definitely see that we have the Knight of Pentacles here. That's Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We also have the Wheel and Six of Wands. I see someone sees you as you know kind of it's a faded connection most definitely and with reconciliation someone from your past it can be past life energy but this person wants to be victorious with you um they feel like they at some point we're having a really really good life and experience with you i feel that it is a faded connection the wheel of fortune is like for all of the things that you've done in life for your past good deeds um the energy from your person is telling me that they looked at you as someone that they have beautiful um changes with living their best life being very victorious but wanting to come back in with you and transform this energy one more time moving forward here wanting to apologize wanting to bring back those good euphoric memories here something about this person and a connection is that you had a long cycle together the will of fortune is cyclic energy it's about things being divinely guided and divinely time i'm definitely seeing that here for your person taurus let's make more sense of this spirit can i have messages for my taurus it's on taurus side for the love list or lost reading the victory here so the energies we have is pisces and Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, and Sag. So you guys are dealing with one of those signs. Or it doesn't have to be. It can just be the energy that's here for you guys. Let's continue with your read. Nine of Wands. That's crazy because... <coughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> Nine of Wands. I see on your energy here, um, Taurus, that you have had a very hard cycle with this person. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior here, but it's telling me that you've had a lot of stamina. There was a lot of issues and things here in the connection here, the things that were being hidden from you in the moon type of energy. This is concealment. So this person was continuing to break your heart over and over again. But in this energy here as to where, you know, you were very slow to commit, but once you committed, you committed for the long haul. You saw this as something that was very divine and faded. You wanted to be victorious. You could have even wanted to marry your person here with Six of Wands energy, you know, being victorious, um, accolades, celebrations. That could also be a marriage card for some of you guys. You could be married to your person. But it's definitely someone you have children. Your children is right smack dab in the middle here. So let's continue to get messages for Taurus. For Taurus's energy on Taurus's side spirit. What do we have for love, lost? For love, lust, or lost? I'm a Taurus. So you can be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, or Pisces, Cancer here in those energy. Ooh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Baby, baby, baby. Whew. Taurus on your side. We have the hanging man that's Pisces, as well as the Hierophant Taurus. That is your card. That is your information. That is your. <laughs> wow, get it together. There's that Mercury retrograde, guys. I can't talk for shit when Mercury's retrograde and it just does everything to my speech. Being a Virgo and Mercury rules Virgo, so it affects me a little more. All right, so. With the hanging one, I feel that this person left you hanging a lot. Um, there's different perspectives and paradigm shifts that have taken place here because there were cycles with this person, someone you've had children with. And it could be someone that's either married that you wanted to marry, I can see here. Um, this person gave you everything but the I do. I'm hearing in this connection with the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Wands, but it's Knight of Pentacles. So on your person's energy, they may have shown up like they wanted this, but in their mental body, um, they didn't want it. They didn't want a marriage with you. I'm definitely seeing that. Um, but this person was enjoying the fruits of the relationship while it was still good. They saw you as someone that was very abundant. They had a lot of the times with you. A lot of fond memories are here with the reconciliation here. But the Hierophant's telling me about morals here because your perception has changed so much about this person that you decided to put your morals and your self-pleasure above being hurt with someone that concealed things for you and that we know was not living their truth. Cards for mutual energies for Taurus here. For those of you who this does resonate with, please do hit the like button down below. I would greatly appreciate that messages for mutual energy between Taurus and Taurus's person too. Cut. Okay, we have the Hermit. You could have been dealing with a Virgo, but you guys are definitely in separation, doing a lot of introspection right now. Two of Wands is a decision that needs to be made. And I see here that... Um, there's high priestess energy here, but I don't think spirit wants me to take this card for the mutual energies. I already determined that knight of swords. Yeah, I already determined that I was only going to take so many cards for the mutual energies. I guess I can get one more for your person's energy because I have four for you, Taurus, four for mutual energies, and I only have three for your person's energy. Spirit, is there any more? No. <laughs> okay i couldn't even get that out do y'all see how spirit work baby 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 the paranormal curiosity so your person here um is very curious about the paranormal they may be different they may be looking into the occult or looking up things like spells and um witchcraft here i definitely see the paranormal here with six of wands this person could be Using spell work, I could have at one point used spell work against you to keep you in a situation ship, I feel. Um, hmm. So with the mutual energies here between you guys, you have the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is like um, the apprenticeship card with the Eight of Pentacles. This is work as Virgo energy again with the Hermit and Two of Wands. Let's start from the top here, guys. 
the Hermit, introspection, two of wands, decision. So going within right now, I feel that you guys are both in separation from each other, but there has been a lot of um, decisions that needs to be made here. You and your person's life feeling like it's at a crossroads. Eight of Pentacles is someone in the connection wants to work it out. I don't know if this is more so your energy towards or your person, but there's someone here that has wanted to work it out, that's looking for a way to come back in and mend the situation. Someone that's having a lot of regrets and sorrows about things that did not work out in the past. Definitely seeing this being someone that's very hardworking as well. That's more Earth energy. I uh, Knight of Swords here. This is communication coming in. This is someone that has my, made their mind up that they want to decide to work on the connection with you because being alone or feeling like they're alone, even if they're in a situation is not serving them well. So this person feels like they need their Taurus back. I'm definitely feeling that. They want to work on the connection with you. Likely outcome here being very soon and the high priestess, I feel that it's something that you have seen come in towards you feel in the beginning signs or maybe even communication with the Knight of Swords that this person wants to come back in. You have the runes. Um, rocks here so this person is definitely with their energy having pure paranormal curiosity this is someone that's looking into the occult or that has ties here they could be a witch by their bloodline i don't know if they're awakened to that or not but you, your other card here says pay attention to the red flags <laughs> pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you or have in the past cautioned you about a person here that's what the perception card is you know the moon energy with the nine of wands it's like this person dragged you emotionally they really put you through it they left you hanging more times you know than you would probably even be able to count right now and you've seen for a while here you've been feeling lately as of lately with the likely outcome being a high priestess and um and very soon that this person is making their way towards you um intuitively you feel it you feel the connection and this person also may feel the connection and be trying to use spell work to call you back in Taurus so be very careful about that whose food you're eating who you are holding the phone for for extended periods of time um some people have certain ways of getting their spells out and cast upon you so just be really really careful with that transformation deception and envy <laughs> wow and emotional loss so I definitely see your deception and envy here with the <clears throat> likely outcome spirit is saying do not move forward with um, this person from the past I definitely feel like that it's deception and and envy here this person is deceiving you because I still think that they are up to their old ways here um, you fill in the loss you haven't had the hurt but the whole time it was at you know your person was really living a really good life at your expense um taurus from what this reading is telling me like your person was living their best life they had like a lot of good things going for them they were celebrating a lot victory will of fortune energy this person expanded and grew during the course of your relationship some of them completed um successfully completed things like work um got good promotions here could have even leveled their education up here and had some type of a uh, graduation or obtained some type of degree vocation or diploma all here it's looking like to me at your expense it was hidden from you their true intentions i'm getting for some of you guys oh this is eerily eerily close to someone really close to me that i know <laughs> but yeah so there's deception and envy here. This person is wearing a false mask here. They are watching you, but for all the wrong reasons. This person is looking for an opportunity to come in because they want to be back in that Six of Wands, Wheel of Fortune type of energy with you where they were living their best life and everything was coming together just well. But Spirit is telling you to pay attention to the red flags. And <laughs> look what we have under that. I'm putting up this Romance Angels deck. I'm putting you away. I'm going to pull from this deck all day. So you have to pay attention to the red flags, deception and envy, as well as deception here again. Um, Taurus, <laughs> I don't know if spirit has to come over there and kind of blow this smoke, this um, wind in your face from these cards. For some of you who don't get it, it's here for you. I do not see this as um, being a situation of love. 
I don't even see lust here. I see this being a loss on your part, Taurus. Um, more, why do I say that? How much more clearly can I spell that out? Emotional loss. This is a loss for you. This is someone that used you. This is someone that um, was living their best life at your expense. But you have definitely transformed and became your best self. And you are living in your um, highest good right now because of the transformation you went through. Because you stayed true to yourself. You went within. You did the work. Um, intuitively, you had a lot coming to you. You're very um, emotional. I don't know if you know it or not, Taurus. But you had a lot of... Um, intuition about this person they were keeping secrets from you most definitely with the moon and the high priestess here there was a lot being concealed from you and you had the inner wisdom and in knowing about it like you just had that gut feeling you didn't know how you knew but you knew so you begin to become your own little detective around the house and start doing your own work so i'm definitely seeing here that you transform very soon something good is coming into you for your experience for your highest good this is definitely a loss i'm gonna call this a loss for Taurus. um Calling in your soulmate here very soon is what I see. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And there's no need to clarify anything here. Sorry, Taurus, um, but I do see that you've grown. I do see that you're standing um, on your own two feet, learning to have your own back right now. And because of that, you do have spiritual gifts coming. Your perception has changed on love, but I don't see this being something that you are going to let make you bitter um, or keep you from moving on, it says very soon here. But I'm going to say here that this is a transition that's going to take time. So do not rush your growth in the matter of the situation and spirit from the queen of the no from the monology oracle deck what messages do we have for Taurus? let's get them a good message or two for closing try to put some icing on the cake a little bit because <laughs> there's not a whole lot of it here other than you haven't made it out of this in one piece um intact and you know although there's emotional loss here near and dear to your heart something that you invested a lot in something that you had cycles with um this and, and cycles to me cyclic energy is anything with 10 plus um so for some of you guys 10 years 20 years 30 years you know 10 months um something like that i'm seeing or it could be nine for some of you guys months years something like that we have two cards so believe in the impossible and communication is key to call in your soulmate, believe in the impossible and communication is key here. Um, and nothing is yet set in stone. So the outcome is up to you. And you're very close to achieving your goal here, Taurus. So thank you guys for joining me over here on my YouTube channel, Spirit and Me 1111. It is your girl Stardust. Take care, my love. Thank you so much. Namaste.